when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. I got a call from Rosalie to do Mingus with Patrice. She didn't see Patrice is great, as you know. And she didn't even make rehearsal, and Dugo didn't either, but we talked about who we wanted and what we would do, and more or less gave them the idea of what we'd be doing. So I knew they could play both of them as excellent as our horn players were, too. So we got together with the horns, and Richard, our bass player, who we've known, he can play everything. But he was excited, too, to play Mingus' stuff. creative, he tried a lot of things. If you hit a strange note, that's okay. It may be audience, somebody in the audience say, I like that note better than the other notes you're playing. You never know what an audience. This is just uh, another place to continue to do what we are already doing, another space, which means we can facilitate more programs in the community, our visiting schools program, our neighborhood schools program, our senior and special needs program, all of those programs will be facilitated by this building also. We saw Simon Rodea build this part of it because we're talking about 1935, 36, and he had like a wall maybe as high as those pictures are. And we said, what's that guy doing? I've never seen a wall like that. But he was going on up. We'd be playing through here and we used to put pop bottles on the railroad tracks and, and the train mess would hit it and break it. And he used little glass pieces, little rocks and whatever bottle tops to put in his mortar. And we just said, the guy's got to be nuts. Why is he doing that? We didn't, you know, we couldn't figure it out. We're only 15 years old. And
I think that it would be foolhardy to dismiss the arts um, as another way that a government can serve its citizens. It's really about affirming life and it's really about building um, a positive environment. <laughs>